Welcome to Off the Leash. My name is Jason Kenzie. And I'm Isaac Knox. And this is everything that is animal related from around the world. So Jason, what do you have for us today? Well, you know what? I, I don't really have anything at the moment because I don't have my notes in front of me. A former football player has been shot in the leg with a shotgun by his dog while out on a hunting trip. So how did that happen, Isaac? Well, apparently the man was uh, hunting for ducks when uh, at the end of their trip, I believe the shotgun was deposited in the back of the vehicle. The dog apparently turned off the safety trigger and then pushed on the trigger with its paw. So you're saying that the dog jumped up onto the box of the, the truck, turned off the safety, and then picked up the gun and aimed it and pulled the trigger. I don't know if the dog was aiming. Those uh, dogs are pretty smart. It could have happened in a sequence of movements, you know. Uh, the owner might have put on some uh, lambada music and the dog was dancing away and it uh, made numerous steps in order to fire the weapon. Well, I personally believe that did not really happen. I believe the dog jumped up onto the back of the truck and accidentally hit the trigger and it went off and it blew off this guy's leg. It is possible that this dog has played uh, too much the video game Duck Hunt from Nintendo. It's also possible that the dog wanted to retire from duck hunting and had formulated a plan to finally retire from the sport by shooting his master in the leg. I actually think the dog was pissed off that it didn't get to ride shotgun pun intended. Also in the news, there is a man in the Philippines no, Jason, we're not there yet. that has no idea what we're he's not, talking about. <laughs> it is uncertain whether or not the dog was barking right before it pulled the trigger, but it is possible that the dog had said something. If we could translate it to a human language, it would probably sound something like hasta la vista, baby. I'm wondering if they actually did kill any ducks that day or if it happened closer to the beginning of the hunt or at the end of the hunt. That's uncertain. There is also no confirmation if the dog had a gun permit. We also don't know if it actually was the dog that shot him. It could have been one, it could have been one of the ducks uh, taking revenge. See? Damn yeah, it, I you got copied got my fucking notes. I got it. That's right, it could have still been alive in the trunk and it was seeking retaliation. And in other stories, while we're talking on the subject of retaliation of animals versus humans, we go to the other side of the spectrum where a father takes retaliation on a crocodile for attacking his son. His son was swimming with his brother when a crocodile came up from nowhere, grabbed him around the head and just pulled him into the water. His brother jumped out of the water and ran as fast as he could, a hundred meters and told his dad, your son has just been pulled into the water by a crocodile and his dad grabbing a two by four and running as fast as he could and dived into the water like Aquaman. He starts beating the crocodile over the head and you know what happened? Nothing. The crocodile did not let go of his son. So in a panic, he did the one thing that nobody else would think of doing. He started biting underneath the leg of the crocodile as hard as he could like a Rottweiler. And finally, the crocodile let go of his son and his dad walked out of the water. Music started playing, it was epic. There was a sunset just going up behind him as he's walking with his son. He rushed him to the hospital where doctors were able to save his son's life. And he got out with just minor injuries. Minor, that's it. What they don't tell you is the crocodile is only two and a half feet long. Yeah, it's too bad that the man didn't have a faithful mascot like a Labrador with a shotgun who would help him out in such a scenario. Oh, I'm sorry, I was reading the wrong notes. Uh, yeah, you know what, forget everything I just said. Uh, the, uh, the kid was attacked by one of those water knolls that can breathe underwater. The croc got away uh, with uh, minor injuries. He did need a couple of stitches. Before I forget, uh, the, the father's uh, insurance canceled his dental plan. On to other news. And this one's even more exciting. Our next story involves a little boy, a bear, and some doses of LSD. Uh, no, I don't think there was any LSD uh, involved. Are you telling me that this story was 100% real? Yeah, this has to do with like a real life jungle book. There was a small child, three years old, that got lost uh, in the forests of uh, North Carolina. When he was rescued a few days later, he said that he spent time with a bear 
Now, was it a black bear or a grizzly bear? We don't know. Incredible story, though. How did the boy get lost? He was uh, playing with his sister and a cousin. Like any kid, uh, they decided just to leave him alone and go back into the house. So when the grandmother said, hey, where's uh, the little guy that I forget his name? Where is Casey? Kids were like, well, we don't know. We thought he came inside. After hours of searching, they decided to call the authorities, at which point the FBI was called in to help uh, locate the boy. Now, it's interesting here, they have even scuba divers. Uh, yeah, they have scuba divers. A bunch of uh, guys in scuba gear just rolling around in dirt and mud on the floor. But they didn't call in a helicopter, which was strange. That's right. The interesting part about this is that the boy was essentially found 48 hours later, 400 meters from his home. That's less than a quarter mile from where he lived. Now, you would think that with a helicopter, that search would have taken 10 yeah, minutes. Using heat, heat uh, sensor cameras. You know, what's strange is uh, he now cannot stop watching Winnie the Pooh and eating honey. And because of Generation Alpha, uh, for Halloween, he wants to uh, be dressed as Goldilocks, and now he wants to go and visit his real-life teddy bear. So thank you so much for tuning in on this episode. Please, we want to hear from you. Tell us what you think of the stories that we told you today. Also, let us know if you believe that dogs should be allowed to carry gun permits. Support us by hitting the like button and the bell please hit the bell because that way you get all the notifications. And don't forget, we upload new episodes every Thursday at 6. I like it. And remember, always support your local animal rescues. Hasta la vega. Uh, hasta la vega. Hasta la vega. Hasta la what? Hasta la vista, baby. Hasta la vista, baby. Have a good night, everybody.